Okay, so welcome to one of my screencasts, the very first one, in which I'm going to explain to you about some of the more useful aspects about the Extreme Marine Habitat website uh, that you will use to develop your assessment for this module. Now the whole reason that I've selected using a website is so that we can lean on social communication and the interaction that we can get through this medium that we wouldn't get through a more traditional essay based report. So it's important that everybody engages with this website and that you use it, you log in, you come out on each of us from small groups that can look at each of us, proofread it and share and stuff like that. Now this is called collaboration, not plagiarism. So you need to make sure that you don't overstep the bounds in your collaboration. People can work on similar topics, but you need to make sure that all the words that you write are your own. So in this first screencast thing, I'm just going to show you how to set up your account on the, on the uh, website. So it's very simple, it's powered by WordPress, so it's very nice, very simple to use, very well supported uh, by a massive amount of users. So it's very secure and it's a very nice piece of software to use. The first thing to do when you log in to extrememarine.org.uk is that you will be faced with this initial welcome screen. So on the right here, you can see that we've got options to log in, and you can also create an account. We have to go put in a peer, log in and sign up. Doesn't matter which one you click, you can go either way. So here you're faced with a very simple create an account page. So create a username. Test Dandy. Make sure that you've got no underscores like that because that tripped me up before. And just put your name in. Add an email address. Very important that you use your banger on because it's going to email you a activation link. So just make sure that you use a banger email account because that means that if there's any problems throughout that, I can contact you straight away. Create a password and add this invitation code. Now the invitation code for this is test extreme but it will be different when you log in and I will tell you what the code is. Now this is a security measure to stop other people, idiots etc from signing up, leaving spam, mucking about and doing stuff like that. Just want to make sure that the people that have access to this website are people that are studying on our course. Now I don't want anybody else joining the website and messing it up. Okay? And then down here, the blog details. Yes, I'd like to create a new blog. So if you click that, it brings up a lot more options. You create your blog name. So for this, we might think of something like Coral Reef. So be quick. Sign up quick if you want something like that. And then put your blog title, which we might do. Or something like that. There's a title of your assignment in some ways. Then underneath it says, I would like my blog to appear in search engines and in public listings around this site. Please select yes. Now I've given you this option, just in case some of you are a little bit more shy and you don't want to share some of your work with the other people. So you can opt out, but I would really like it if everybody did keep their stuff public because it means that we can have a look, come out on each other's websites, we can go through all that. And also, it would be a lasting legacy on the website for years to come. So it's a bit of extra motivation to make sure that you do some good work. So then, find the bottom button, just click complete sign up. It will take you through to here. It says you've successfully created and you will need to activate via an email they've just sent to your address. So hopefully that will pop up in a second. And for those of you that love Facebook, you can add yourself an avatar by clicking browse and uploading an image. So I'm just going to pause it now and see if that email has come in and then we'll rejoin it and log in. Okay, so the email from the system giving you the activation email should take a few seconds. If it doesn't arrive, then there may be a delay and it may also be in your spam box. So check there 
It comes from my email address, so it should be fairly safe through the Bangor email system. So once it comes, you activate your account, you are allowed to log in. Put your username and password in, select Remember Me only if you're using your own personal computer. Don't select it if you're using a public computer, then click Login. Uh, nothing really changes apart from the fact that it shows you that you're logged in here and your avatar comes up. If you click onto it, it'll take you into the Facebook type settings that we've got as part of the WordPress website. You can add comments about what you're doing. And it keeps a track of what is actually going on and you can talk to each other and use it as a discussion forum. Now there are a series of groups that we're members of. You want to join the 2010 Extreme Fire group which means that inside the group there's lots of stuff happening and you can talk to each other. We have a forum as well so you can ask questions to your mates, to me, if you need to. So post stuff in here, because if you have a problem, it's likely that it would be shared with other people. So that's pretty much it. So in the next one, I'm going to show you how to get into your blog, how to start editing, and then we'll start talking about developing a website. So remember when you finished with the website, always click log out. Okay?